Bonding with Yuzu. Easy fast. Further important explanations are found at the end of the video. Yuzu loads mods as patches, so it needs help in knowing what to point what at. In order to point at the correct folders and files, different patching methods are used. They are the following. Understanding what each mod needs to be structured as to be loaded is not a requirement, but it will quicken the process. Troubleshoot as necessary. Once you have a mod, extract it from its compressed state if you haven't done so already. And then launch Yuzu. Open the right-click context menu for the game that the mod is intended for. Select Open Mod Data Location. This will open the folder and File Explorer. You can see that the mod that I am using as an example is already here. The folder within is ROMFS, and that is the method that will be used to load the mod. Take your mod and place it in this folder. If the mod is acceptable for Yuzu, it will be selectable within Yuzu immediately. Open the right-click context menu for the game once more. Select Properties. The mod appears. If at any time you wish to unload the mod, you can simply deselect it next to the add-on. After any changes have been made, you press OK at the bottom right of the property screen. If successful, the effects of the mod will be apparent. If not, the mod needs to be configured further, typically with a different patching method. Here you can see that I am using a mod by the lovely Simon Fox Coon of Game Banana. It changes the graphical user interface, or GUI, to match the button prompts provided to a DualSense controller for the PlayStation 5. Neat! Mods can be found in many places. Please keep in mind that not all mods are going to be compatible with Yuzu. As of today's date, January of 2022, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's modding method is incompatible with Yuzu. Some mods can be found at the following hyperlinks, in descending order of usability. And that's it. Hope this helped.